tonight's going to be a great event. Um, we got uh, the speakeasy theme. There's going to be a little raid coming on and getting us to our seats. Music's going to be great. We're going to have some flappers out there, some Keystone Cops. I like what the hospital has to offer. And it's not just about medicine. It's about compassion. It's about caring. And it's about uh, protecting those who need the most protection. The Healing Wards is, is a magnificent award. It's especially because it, it really centers on what Holy Name Medical Center is. This evening we're honoring three wonderful human beings, three fantastic doctors, Dr. Dave Butler, Dr. Uh, Alan Gwertzman, and Dr. Tim Finley. They are known and, and recognized locally for their skill and for the caring of their patients, but what people don't know and will learn about tonight is what great humanitarians they are and how they spend their time in Haiti helping the most unfortunate people in the world. I've been going to Haiti for 18 years, so uh, this particular year happened to be quite a series of misfortunes, but uh, I was prepared from having been there in the past and confident that the people would handle things very, very well. When I got there after the earthquake, we tried to coordinate because we, we had now not just 500 patients but 500 family members. So basically you had a thousand people that you had to feed, clothe, and shelter. When we came back from Haiti, um, because of Dr. Finley and Dr. Gwertzman, they had recognized that there was an acute need for an oxygen generator. There were no oxygen generators in the north of Haiti. The people, not only Milo, but of the whole northern department in Haiti will benefit unbelievably from the presence of this oxygen generator. Holy Name has supported our efforts in Haiti for 18 years and this just reflects what every employee, what all the staff members feel and it's, it's just an extension of their spirit. We had been going there for several years and when the earthquake occurred we got word that uh, you know that they may need physicians and then the specifics started to come in, and, uh, specifically needed anesthesiologists, and I volunteered to go. We, we view it as a teaching mission. We don't just go down there and operate. We teach people how to do what we do in America and how we do it. And over the years, uh, we've seen great improvements, and we reinforce it every time we go back, every year. It's just a mission of people from around the country, the United States, that go down to this hospital on a weekly basis. It was probably the most um, important thing that I've done in my life. It truly awakened me to a higher cause. The people of Haiti are some of the most incredibly stoic, resilient, beautiful people who have very little but give so much back. And they're a proud people but not an arrogant people. And anything that we can do for them uh, is very, very important. Whether it's in our own backyard, or if it's hundreds if not thousands of miles away, the Holy Name Hospital mission is very consistent. And they do walk the walk and they do talk the talk and they really do follow through and don't pay lip service to it. It's all about action and promise and they've kept their promises. And through all of these efforts, we were able to get the oxygen processor down there. And it really is saving hundreds if not thousands of lives. I'd like to acknowledge primarily our, our major sponsors, uh, first and foremost, Bergen Anesthesia Associates, and also the Palestroni Foundation. And it's really through the generosity of Bergen Anesthesia Associates and the Palestroni Foundation that, that we're here this evening and, and can raise funds to benefit Holy Name. The Spirit of Healing Award, it, it really epitomizes the mission and the character of Holy Name Medical Center. This Founders Ball is, is one of our largest fundraising events that we have. And as things get tight here and as we want to expand our resources and try to help others out in the, in the community, both our local community and the Haitian community, we need resources. We need philanthropic support. We're a tax-exempt organization. We're a nonprofit. We operate ourselves. We're one of the most efficient hospitals in the state of New Jersey. But we have to strive and, and depend on philanthropy to make ends meet and to give us the means to do these extra measures when, when they're called for. 